Today I'm going to be reviewing this Lavoie Vital 100S. It first came out in March last year and it's one of the latest models from the brand Lavoie. Now if you don't want to watch my full review, here are the five things that I really like about this device and four things that I don't. The first one is when we tested this in our test room, we test all of our air purifiers, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 28 minutes, which is really impressive considering its cost. It also has some great features like auto mode and full app support, which you don't find at this budget. I like that it has a removable pre-filter. It makes it much easier to clean because you're going to be cleaning this bad boy every three months and it's much easier to take it away, put it over a sink versus having to get on your hands and knees and clean it with a vacuum cleaner. It was also super efficient. At its highest fan speed, it only pulled 27.3 watts. The filter also uses pelleted activated carbon versus the cheap impregnated fabric that we see in some budget devices. Now, what I don't like about this device well, it's still small, so it's only capable of keeping rooms of around 200 square feet clean. And at its RRP of $139.99, there might be bigger devices that offer better value. There's also the whole issue with Dyson making the complaint to the Better Business Bureau about the use of the term HEPA, which I'll talk about later in the view. Finally, the other thing I don't like is that the activated carbon filter is actually attached to the HEPA. And what you'll find is the activated carbon will need replacing more often and you'll have to throw the whole filter away, which is less than ideal. Now, let's watch my full review. The Lavoit Vital 100S is very similar to the older Lavoit Vital 100 and it uses the same rectangular design, which I really like because it means you can have a removable pre-filter which makes life much easier when using this air purifier in your day to day. You can see the design similarities with the Lavoit Vital 200S, which has a slightly different design on the front, uh, uses circles instead of squares, but it also uses the same power cord which may seem like a simple thing, but many older devices have power cords that are fitted in, that get in the way, that make things life a little harder. Whereas this device, it just clips into the back, it's super small and easy to hide away. After Dyson made a complaint to the Better Business Bureau about Lavoit's use of the term HEPA in certain models, Lavoit responded by removing this term from certain of their devices. Like the Core Series, there are four filters available for this model. You have the standard filter that this device comes with, and that is available OEM for $39.99. The most expensive filter is this smoke filter that's available for $49.99. And you have the Toxic and Pet, which are available for $44.99. As part of this video review, I reached out to Lavoie to ask them what was the difference between all of these filters, and they got back to me. They said that the standard filter contained 80 grams of carbon, whilst the pet and toxin absorber contain 170 grams. The smoke absorber, which is the most expensive, actually contains slightly less at 115 grams. So if you do have an issue with odors and you wanna improve the effectiveness of the device, I would say go with the pet or with the toxic absorber. Another thing to remember though, is that these, even those filters with 170 grams of carbon, it isn't a lot and won't be able to deal with a serious issue with gases and odors. For those you want to look at a device like the Austin Air HealthMate or the IQ Air Health Pro Plus who measure the amount of carbon in pounds. Whilst we look at reported performance data from manufacturers and the KDOS scores from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, we also want to test for ourselves how well this device can remove particles from the air. We tested this device in the same room of 728 cubic feet that we test all of our devices. The results for this Lavoit Vital 100S were impressive. It was only two minutes slower than the massive Honeywell HPA 300 and was six minutes quicker than the Kowei Air Mega 150. It's clear that whatever changes Lavoit have made to this device, it has much better performance than the older generation of air purifiers that we have tested. There's no point having great air cleaning performance if it's so loud we can't bear to hear it. In the marketing materials, Lavoit say that this device has a sound level of between 23 decibels and 52 decibels. 
but we never want to take this on our own and we want to hear it for ourselves. So we used a sound meter like this at three feet away to track the levels of sound. At speed one, we saw that it used 37.5 decibels, but it's worth noting that the background noise in our location is quite high, so this is likely an overestimate. At speed two, we saw 42.6 decibels. Speed three was 48.7 decibels. And at its highest speed, we saw 53.8 decibels. When comparing to other similar performing devices, the Levoit Vital 100S has some great scores. For example, the WinX A230 hit at 57.9 decibels at its highest fan speed. And this device was slightly lower than the Levoit Core 300, which hit 54.5 decibels. All mechanical filters that use HEPA or activated carbon will need replacing eventually. These filters work by trapping particles and gases inside the filter material, and eventually they become so full that they become ineffective. Lavoit recommends that for the Lavoit Vital 100S, you need to change the filters every nine months, but this is very dependent on your particular usage and the air quality in your region. I always recommend to people to visually inspect the filter before replacing, because brands have an incentive to tell you to replace them more often than you need to, and only replace the HEPA when it's really full of dirt. Now, one of the downsides of this device is that the carbon is attached to the HEPA, and often find that carbon needs replacing more often, so you'll need to replace the entire filter. Whereas devices like the WinX 5502 have the carbon as a separate filter, so you can just replace the carbon and keep the HEPA running. Assuming nine months of replacing these filters, OEM filters will cost you between $55 and $66, depending on which filters you choose. Now, if you are happy to go with generic filters, you can bring this cost down to $20 per year if you're willing to buy two filters at a time. This is one of the big benefits of going for a popular brand like Lavoie is that there are a ton of generic filters that can make replacing them a lot cheaper than going with OEM. It's not just filters that add to the running costs of using an air purifier. Air purifiers will have to be used continuously so energy costs can quickly add up, which is why we use an energy meter like this to track the levels of energy used at each fan speed. The Lavoit Vital 100S at speed one only used five watts of energy. At fan speed two, it hit 8.7 watts. Fan speed three was 15.4 watts. At its highest fan speed, the Lavoit Vital 100S used 27.3 watts, which will add an additional 28 0.7 to your energy bill. This compared really favorably with other devices we had tested. The WinX 5502 used 53.46 watts, the older Lavoit Core 300, 35.5 watts, and the bigger brother of this device, the Lavoit Vital 200S, used 44.55 watts. The improvements in efficiency are especially clear when we compare it to the older Lavoit Vital 100 which used 45.99 watts. So it's clear that Lavoie has really improved the efficiency of this device. This all brings the yearly running cost for the Lavoie Vital 100S to $81.98 if you choose the OEM filters. If you choose the generic filters, you can bring this down to 48 and 70 cents, which is really fair when you compare it to other devices. For example, the Lavoit Core 300 costs you $91 per year, the WinX A230 is $95, the Okusayu Air Max 10L is $166 per year, and the Molecule Air Mini is a whopping $244 per year in energy and filter costs. Now, I, before we finish this review, I want to talk about some of the features that you get with the Lavoit Vital 100S, because at this budget, it's very rare to get both app support and auto mode. When I tested the app, it connected first time, which is not something we always see with these devices. And I was impressed to see there was many features that you can't get by just using the device at the top, such as the pet mode, which is a, is a mode that switches on the device for a certain period of time and then cycles between different speeds to clean the air as much as possible without using too much energy. You can also set your own scheduling to fit your lifestyle. Now, the air quality sensor that comes on the device looks like the same one you get with the Vital 200S, and you need to be aware that you will need to clean the sensor every two months with a Q-tip to remove any dust or particles that accrue over time. 
I'll be honest, I hadn't planned to get the video review out for the Leloit Vital 100S so quickly, but because it did so well in our in-house experiments at removing particles and the amount of sound generation and energy usage, I just felt I had to get the word out. Whilst it's not a budget device with an RRP of $139.99, at the time of this video, it's only $109. So it's really close to what we define as a budget device. And for that value, you get such great performance, but also features that are very rare at this price point. Whilst if you have a bigger space than 200 square feet, you will want to look at the larger version, the Levoit Vital 200S. And if you have issues with odor, you may want to look at something like the WinX 5502 at $159, which has separate carbon filters. So you won't need to throw out the HEPA filter every time the carbon filter is full. But at the price point of $109, this is a great performing device. Now, if you have the Levoit Vital 100S, let me know in the comments how you're getting on with the device.